Wu-Tang could be dangerous. My lord, a handsome sword. Do you think your Wu-Tang sword can defeat me? Hey, what's up guys? We're back. Uh, first of all, I want to say I'm sorry I didn't get that video out for you guys on Friday. I was still kind of sick and just trying to catch up with things, bro. You know, I wear a lot of hats here. We all do. This is what how it goes down when you're in an e-commerce site. It's a, it's a different environment, man. That's 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 it's nothing like anything you've ever experienced in the job world. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. That said, uh, I just wanted to apologize because I'm, I'm a man of my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And. Uh, in this particular business, the only way we're going to survive is if we're completely honest with you guys about every single thing we do. And I want you guys to know that I'm always going to be real with you. I'm never going to I'm never going to bullshit you. I bullshit a lot, but I'm not going to bullshit you. So, with that out of the way, I got something very special for you guys. Something something <laughs> Something you weren't even expecting. Something I wasn't even expecting. Well, I was expecting it, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this good. When we first tested this, I tried it on a Molotov can and I was like, well, this is gonna be a really cool outline cap. Really, really cool outline cap. Um, it was very thin and hard, but it wasn't the cleanest outline cap on the Molotov, but it was very thin and hard. Thinner than the micro cap, by the way. Um, but I didn't test it on a flame blue can, and that's where I made the mistake, because these things, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, my trans, my trans friends, everybody, you have never experienced such a fine line cap on a can of spray paint without using an adapter of some sort. What are they called? Stencil caps? You don't even need them. Here's why. What we have here is the new cap that I've discovered and I'm calling it the airbrush cap. Why is it called the airbrush cap? Well, on a flame blue can, you're gonna get lines about that wide. And you know, of course the line width is dependent on how fast you spray and how close you are to the wall. Don't forget that, kids. How fast you spray, how close you are to the wall determines the width of the spray as you're using it. But as a cap in itself, this is by far the thinnest cap we've ever gotten in. And you know what? It doesn't seem to clog as easy as the gray dots and stuff. But its spray characteristics are completely different than the grays and golds, guys. Completely different. Where the gray dots and gold dots are very soft and airy, this creates a fine airbrush line with a little bit of flare, which makes it freaking awesome. It's almost like a German Outline 3. You remember the original German Outline 3s, how nice they were? Well, take that. And, and, and cut it in half. Cut in, cut in half how small it gets. And this is what you got, guys. So any of you piecers in LA, photorealistic artists looking to do eyelashes, beard hair, anything like this, get yourself flame blue, get yourself an airbrush cap, and my brothers, you will be in awe. You will be in awe. But there is one problem. <laughs> It's only molded in this yellow, which is very similar to our extinguisher caps. So, um, and I have one here right here, and I don't know if you can see it, but um, the extinguisher cap is slightly more darker yellow. So it's gonna be a bit more of a, oh snap, I forgot to pull my focus, god damn it. All right guys, this, might, this part might be a little bit blurry. My apologies, I still need an intern. Hold on a second. All right, just check my focus, I think it's fine. Whew. Wipe sweat off brow. <laughs> anyways, um, so anyways, back where I was. The uh, the extinguisher cap is gonna be a little bit darker yellow, like a school bus yellow, while the, uh, the new airbrush cap is gonna be a little bit of a lighter yellow, kind of like a canary. So, and, and this is a, this little uh, description will help you guys remember the difference when you see them. Because even we have to at the warehouse, because I don't want them to get mixed up. So remember, the airbrush cap is yellow like a canary, like a little yellow canary. Extinguisher cap that sprays big long lines is gonna be yellow like a school bus, right? So don't forget that. Canary, school bus, canary, school bus. Driving it home, baby. Canary, school bus, canary, school bus. Okay, anyways, I'm really excited about this. I mean, we, we have to work really, really hard to make sure that we stay on top of our shit. I mean, this industry is still in its infancy, and yes, graffiti supplies is an industry, just so you know. Um, we're, we're fighting against our competition, we're fighting against the art materials market, we're also fighting against Amazon. It's an all-out war on three fronts, and we keep on coming out on top because we constantly innovate, also because we're nimble. We're nimble navigators. We get in, we get out. 
we, we figure out things really quick and also we're really good at service ask anybody who's ordered from us man we have the best service in the graffiti industry even better than the art supply stores and we get you stuff that they can't and I know it's hard ordering online I get it but it's not really if you really look at it um, one thing I always tell young lads young ladies trans friends um, buy in bulk together buy in bulk together get these cans in bulk together if you get in with your homies 150 bucks you get free shipping straight to your door guys we do that to you so if you get three or four people it's not that expensive to order from us and you're getting these cans 595 right off the block bam you see what are these things in stores like 650 or even if the stores even have them we actually we actually get kind of blackballed by some of the art supply stores because they consider us their competition the problem is they don't realize they're no competition to us why because of us because of me caring about you guys we know what you want I mean guys we you don't even know we've survived the recession and uh, it was tough you know we had deaths in the family here it was freaking tough but man I put my pants on every day I came here to make sure we bring you the stuff you need and it was not easy it was hard but you know what I always work best under pressure that's the only way I function really like when people are attacking me that's when I'm my strongest I, I, I that's just I live off of it man I get hate mail all the time it's so funny from like you know, sometimes from even my friends but you know I'm changing the paradigm here man graffiti is changing all around us the young kids know it a lot of the old guys don't you know bless their heart because they help make it what it is but Graffiti is for the kids. It always has been for the kids. The old guys, they should be respected. They should be given their due. But the kids determine the future of where graffiti goes. That's a fact. So, anyways, enough of my rants about art. Why don't we go outside and try out these caps? Oh, one more thing. Um, I just want to give a shout out to my new favorite SoundCloud DJ. His name is DJ Sheep, so make sure you check out DJ Sheep on SoundCloud. Uh, he's an Australian turntablist, and I gotta tell you guys, the Australians took turntablism to a whole new level. They are the best in the world, and DJ Sheep is a perfect example. Um, definitely check him out on SoundCloud. I'm sure he'd appreciate the hits. And uh, you know, if you just want to chill and relax and draw and do your shit, DJ Sheep's got all the smooth grooves to get you going. All right, let's go check out those caps. All right guys, we're out here at the warehouse. I got this little painted board here so you guys can check out how the caps work. Today I'm just gonna rock in on the, uh, the flame blue. We'll do a more thorough uh, review over at Judkins. Maybe I can grab Ed. We can go down there and paint a micro piece or something. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but in the meantime, I just want you to see how fine these lines can get. So let's go ahead and do a couple tags here, a couple quick lines. You know how I do it. Uh, you'll get a good idea of how it rocks. All right guys, just for reference, I got two cans of flame blue. Two of my favorite colors, by the way. I got Riviera, and then I got this uh, Signal Blue. I don't know why I forgot the name, it's Signal Blue. <laughs> Anyways, these are dope colors. Uh, very, very, very clean. Uh, very nice uh, opacity and color. So make sure you check these out. Also, these cans were shaken for a minute and a half. Also, going like this to agitate the bottom, as well as like that. Make sure you shake your cans. These cans have been sitting in storage for over a year before they get to your house. They travel all the way from Europe on a container ship, then they get to port, then they get on a train, then they get to a warehouse, and then they get to our warehouse where we shuffle them apart, then we put them on a shelf, another six months later it gets at your door. So remember, spray paint is not a solution. It's a mixture, guys. So make sure you shake it up properly before you use it. If you clog a cap, it's kind of your fault. We'll still help you out, but make sure you shake your cans. Driving the issue home, guys. Anyways, so I got a New York Fat, and I got that blue dot that comes stock in the flame blue. I thought you might like to see it as a frame of reference. So check it out. See that? New York Fat. Flame blue stock tip. They both write pretty nice on there, but as you can see, the line is much larger. Maybe we should grab a gray dot too as a frame of reference. All right, let me do some quick more other lines too with the other caps before I get onto the gray dot. <clears throat> because I naturally paint really fine with fat caps, so it might have distorted your perception of how these caps actually spray. Um, again, I'm all about distorting perceptions, guys. Let's bend your reality. Anyways, so let me, uh, let me flare out these caps just so you can get a better idea of what they look like in comparison, and then we'll do a pan across all of it, and then you'll know what's up, right? So check this out. All right, so this is the New York fat cap flared out. 
Is that, oh, too high. There we go. That's much better. All right, now here is the, uh, the stock cap. Oh, there's another airplane flying over, as always. All right, I'm filming this by myself here, so give me a break, okay? You guys see that? A little bit of a flare quality to it, right? Oh, uh, maybe the sun's blotching it out. God damn it, I need someone to help me film this stuff. Hey, I'm doing pretty good on my own, right? All right, so let's, uh, we'll do a pan across and you'll see it in a second, okay? So hold on one second. All right, guys, so I got the exposure dropped a little bit so you could see it better. Uh, remember, the uh, turquoise, or I'm sorry, the Riviera is going to be the stock cap that comes on the flame blue. Uh, the blue cap is going to be the New York fat cap. And it might look kind of similar to here to you guys, but the New York fat cap will flare a little bit fatter than the stock tip, and they do feel a little bit different in the hand. Uh, in comparison, there is the airbrush cap on the flame blue, and I'm sorry I didn't catch that footage because I forgot to turn on record. But don't worry, we'll get to it in a second. This is a comparison video. But you know, this is just to give you a quick idea of what it looks like. And now let's get to the gray dot. Yeah, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> Anyways, I got a gray dot mounted on the uh, on the on the uh, true blue, or I'm sorry, signal blue, and then uh, I got the uh, new cap, the airbrush cap, mounted on the um, the Riviera. So, anyways, I've been doing some testing between the two. The gray dot is pretty close, I will say that. They're pretty close to each other. Um, but I still think you can get finer lines with the airbrush cap. Also, the gray dot's a softer spray. It's a more softer, airy spray. The, uh, the airbrush cap does that nice uh, teardrop-shaped flare that you used to get with the German Outline 3, but finer. Uh, also, I've noticed that the extinguisher, in my experience so far, so I'm sure you guys will correct me because you guys are so smart. The new, uh, the new cap doesn't seem to clog as easy as the gray dots. So that's a bonus too, especially since uh, the manufacturer of the caps has raised our prices. Uh, gotta love that. Uh, but yeah, that's, the way it, that's the way it goes. We'll, we'll move along. We haven't raised our prices yet. So anyways, let's do a couple quick lines with these two and you'll see a direct comparison. First, I'm going to rock the gray dot. Let me go ahead and test it, make sure we got a good spray going. This is the gray dot on the flame blue. Check it out. See how airy it is, right? You see how airy that line is? Does it show up? Do you grok that? Do you get it? Okay, let's try out the extinguisher cap. Can you see the difference? See how much harder it is than the gray dot? I think you get a nice clean line. Now, get, you know, one thing I've learned about graffiti is uh, you give a cap to like five different people and uh, They'll tell you like five or six different different things about it. You know what I mean? Everyone has their own perspective about how these caps rock. Um, but me personally, I prefer the uh, the this new cap, the, uh, the airbrush cap, to the gray dot. Because like I said, I think it doesn't clog as easy. But you know, the jury's still out on that. That's why you guys gotta try it. You gotta buy it and try it, guys, and see for yourself. Um, but I love it. It comes out nice and fast, nice and smooth, and uh, I can't complain. Let's play around with it some more. All right, we're gonna do a couple of our classic little line swoops and whoop-de-doops and stars and all that good stuff. Uh, that, way, that way you guys can get uh, a good idea of how these caps rock. Um, I'm loving it, guys. I'm always trying to find something new for you out here. That's my business, that's what I gotta do. I gotta elevate, I gotta, I gotta elevate, I gotta adapt. I gotta always try and find new stuff to stay ahead of the competition because, well, there's no competition. Anyways, so let's do a couple quick lines of whoop-de-doops and I'm gonna close out this video because I got a thousand cans to sell in like 10 minutes and this guy's waiting for me to call him. So I'll be right back with you. Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, look, another airplane's flying over. All right, first we're gonna rock a star. Now let's do a little circle. Is that coming up on the camera there? Yeah, I think it is. Let's do a little spiral. Let's do, uh, let's do a little uh, exclamation point. That looks good. Uh, let's do a little dollar sign. Cause I love them dollars, baby. I love them dollars. You no, know you do too. Get paid, do some murals. Remember, call me for wholesale pricing if you're doing professional murals. Charge your customers the retail price for the paint, pocket the rest. All right, so let's uh, let's do a couple little more lines. Did I just mess up my focus? Oh uh, well, you guys understand. All right, quick line, quick line, quick line. 
little box. Is that showing up on the camera? Yes, it is. A little box right there. There we go. Getting cubic on you guys. We're getting cubic in here. When I was in high school, I wrote cube actually. That was my tag name back then. Um, Cause I'm, a, I'm, I'm part Cuban, I'm half Cuban. I'm also part Native American. My, my grandfather was a, uh, was a one-armed Cherokee. He lost his arm in the Korean War, man. He loved America. But you know, our, our country has a bloody history, right? I actually had a good conversation with a friend of mine about that. But you know, it's complicated. There's not a single country in this world that doesn't have a, a bloody past. Not a single one. So if you hear any little Marxist buddy friends talking about that stuff, remember, active measures. The communists were really good at it. Anyways, let's get back to painting. Disinformation is everywhere, guys. There's a war for your mind. I think we can close out this video. As you can see, this cap is extremely fine. It does very well in pretty much any circumstance, and it doesn't seem to clog as easy as the gray dot. I think we have a winner, guys, and we got literally hundreds of thousands of them. So we don't fuck around. I mean, we don't mess around. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to close it out for now. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, it was very illuminating. I learned a lot using these caps today, and I hope you did too. I love making these videos for you, but they got to translate into sales. So make sure you shop with us, man. Don't go to your local art supply store. Give me a call. I will hook you up personally. I'm here Monday through Friday. I'm sometimes here on Sunday. I work that much, fools. I work like a hog. So um, let's get together. Let's create some graffiti. Let's paint some walls, let's do some art, let's do some visual anarchy. We're gonna make America awesome, we're gonna make graffiti awesome, and you're gonna be awesome. Because with all of us together combined, we're an unstoppable force, a mimetic force of art. So thank you very much guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta go, we got cans to sell, peace out.